sixth graders, this is your uh, math video for May 20th. Um, this is a Wednesday. And so I am going to be giving you guys your answers to the first two pages of your math packet so you can see how you did on that. So let's start, first of all, with our exponent page. That was the front page of our packet. And here are your answers. So just going across, number one, you should have eight, number two, 25, number three, 27, number four, 72, number five, 32, number six, three. Now, second section said this, write an equivalent ex exponential expression for each of the following numbers. So for the number 64, number seven, um, there, there were some different things. Oops, 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 let me change this really fast. I put the wrong thing right there. Oh, I'm glad I caught that. You should have done this. For number 64, you could have said eight to the second power. You could have had four to the third power or two to the sixth. All of those would work. They would all get you back to 64. Okay, number eight, 10 to the second power, or we can say squared. Number nine, five squared. Number 10, five, you can say to the third power, or also cubed, five to the third power. Number 11, you could have four squared, or two to the fourth power. Um, number 12, three to the fifth power. Number 13, six to the third power. Number 14, nine, to the third power, and number 15, seven to the third power. Okay, so let's move on now. Uh, if you got any of those wrong, you can go back and look, write down the right answer, and maybe see what you did wrong, what happened there. Okay, now let's go over here to subtracting integers. On this page, you were uh, subtracting integers, things that were negatives. Um, also, they mixed up at the bottom. They had some adding, some subtracting. So let's see how you did on that one and, and if, if you were able to get these right. Okay, I did a couple with you, but here we go. Number one, negative three. Number two, negative one. Number three, negative 10. Number four, negative 14. Number five should come up with 13. And number six, a negative four. Okay, now down below, there were some adding, some subtracting. The top part, they wanted you to switch the problem because they were all subtracting problems to an addition problem. And we talked about that the other day on the video, how to do that. Okay, so now here we just have our problems. Some are adding, some are subtracting, but these are our answers here. So this is what you should have come up with. Number seven, 78. Number eight, negative 297. Number nine, negative 85. Number 10, negative 51. Number 11, negative 345. Number 12, 99. Number 13, uh, 23. Number 14, negative 213. Number 15, four. Number 16, negative 61. Number 17, 39. And number 18, negative 102. Okay, so see how you did on that. Now, you're going to be showing me this on math check-in on Thursday, so please make sure you have this ready to go because this is what you will be showing me, this packet. Okay, let's come on over here. These, uh, these are the two concepts we'll be doing now for today. So this is Wednesday. This will be your homework for Wednesday. Um, you will do that next page. So your packet, you will see this front page, which is uh, equations, multiplication, division, and then you'll be doing the back page, which is functions. Okay, both, uh, these are both concepts um, that we have done in class this year. So quick review, and then hopefully uh, you can just get started on this and be able to work through this and it won't uh, be super hard for you. Okay, on equations, multiplication, division, you are going to see an, a variable. You are solving for the variable. So negative nine times what, because remember it sits right by each other, it means multiply, equals 45. So I'm gonna take my negative nine to this side. That means 45 divided by negative nine. Inverse operation, it's multiplying over here, it's gonna be division over here. My answer, x equals negative five. Now, you, sh you should be able to take this and put it back in here and it should equal then that answer. 
So if I have a negative 9 and I times it by negative 5, which I think that's what x is, negative 9 times negative 5 would give me a positive 45. Now remember, in multiplying and dividing with positives and negatives, two negatives make a positive. Two positives make a positive. But we have different signs, a negative and a positive. Then our answer, whether it's our product or quotient, is going to be negative. Okay, so those are some rules we just need to make sure we remember. Okay, you'll have some problems that look like this. This is number two. Okay, this is a division problem. It's saying x, my variable, divided by 3. What times 3 gives me negative 7? Well, that means I take this over to the side, and since it's division on this side, I'm going to multiply whatever I see over here times that, times that number. So negative 7 times 3, I brought the 3 over, x equals negative 21. Well, if we were to put it back up there, is that correct? If I was to put negative 21 in for x, that's an equal, divide it by 3, would that equal negative 7? Well, yeah, 3 goes into 21 7 times. Negative, positive, that would be a negative 7. So, yep, we say, yep, that equals, that's right. Okay, so that's that page. You're going to be doing that. You're going to see this type of thing, multiply, so we divide on this side. We're going to see division, so we multiply on that side. Just make sure you're careful with your negatives and your positives. All right, the last page is called functions. We talked about this uh, throughout this school year where we have rules. M equals N plus 3. Now we're going to see a box. They're, they're actually going to give it to you. N is N, so that's where we put that. We would put these numbers right here for N. Then what does that give us? Remember we talked about input, output? Okay, X and Y. So if I put 12 in here, 12 plus 3 would give me, and that's my M, my output, it'd give me 15. If I put a 14 in there, that would give me 17. If I put a 16, that would give me 19. Now you're going to complete the box. Put 18 in there, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so we're going to put a 21 here. If we put a 20 in there, we would put a 23. If we put 22 in there, we would put a 25. That would give us our M. Okay, so you're going to see this, your boxes. Now, the last thing you're going to have you do, I believe, if I remember right, um, at the, they'll have you do this two more times, what we just did. So follow the rule there. Um, then on the bottom of this page, it says find the function rule for each table. So they're going to give you this. You need to write this. We've done that too in class. So that's what we're going to be doing on the bottom of that page. We're going to write the rule. Okay, so think about what's going on. How's it going from 6 to 10, 7 to 11, 9 to 13? Okay, so then you're going to write the rule. Now, this will be Wednesday's homework. Uh, we're going to go over this on Thursday when we meet for Zoom. So I will be um, going over these. I'm not going to give you these answers on Thursday's video. I will be seeing you on Zoom for, for the answers, and we're going to talk about this page. So be ready to be called upon. Be ready to um, go over these with me. So we're going to make sure we have this completed so that we can go over it. You were given the answers on the first uh, page, front and back. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, but then we will go over these answers. Um, we're just going to keep moving through some review. So Thursday you'll be given in your video what you're going to be doing next for review. And um, we won't go over that quite yet because that's obviously uh, Thursday's work and some of you don't do that till later. So that would be pushed to the next week. Okay, so get working on this and hopefully it's making sense um, and it feels like review to you and not a new concept. I hope I pray for that. <laughs> okay, have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.